welcome back once again today we are going to make idli masala it really like you know sounds weird but once you taste it you'll become a big fan of that so let's start making your kids will love it and it's so simple that you don't have to be an expert to make one so let's start and see the required ingredients for that Required ingredients are, yeah, obviously igli. I am taking 5 iglis here. Oil is required. If you really want to deep fry your iglis, they will turn out to be the best. But I am not deep frying them because I am a bit oil con I am mean, uh, cal calorie conscious. So next is salt and other spices as per your taste. So here I am going to start off by turning the pan on. Sorry for disturbance guys. Now light and light the burner. We'll let the pan heat up a little. And then I am going to add some oil into it. You can see oil has been evaporated. So let me add some at least to it. Make sure they are not stuck because they will burn, right? They are stuck, I guess. Fine. So immediately once you do this work. You have to add a bit of oil into it. Fine, there are six iglis actually. Here's some oil. Just on the iglis side of them, by them. Yeah. They will, they will become nice and crispy. Yeah. Now uh, make sure that oil reaches all like you know all parts of the glaze so that they will be cooked evenly. Yes. Just turn away like turn over the glaze. I guess uh, this part uh, takes 5 minutes about to get to cook this iglis golden brown. Once they are cooked, your work is done. Just press the iglis down tightly. This is one of the best steps you can follow to get the iglis cook over fast. Rotate the pan to cook all your iglis evenly. I hope you understand what I am doing over here. So, these have turned golden brown a bit. They have to be cooked more. You can see the iglis have turned golden brown. Let me overturn them. have been nicely cooked golden brown on both sides. It's time to add some spices onto the dish. You can see how nicely they have been cooked golden brown on both sides. We have to add some spices now. Firstly salt, let me take it with hand, using hand is one of the best thing, you, go, you might feel it is traditional way but it works great. And then spice, this is red chilli powder. So 
uh, before adding this turn off the flame don't uh, forget it and here is some um, garam masala and uh, chaat masala mixed together let me serve all this one by one and that's over your dash is over and just go ahead and click and enjoy